Okay, here we go. Uh, we are starting now dissection 15, the muscles of the lower lateral leg. Uh, notice we are working on the same leg that we've been doing all of our dissections on. You can see me lifting up the biceps femoris there. We're going to kind of start this by partially removing some of the attachment point of the biceps femoris. Okay, so we're going to kind of lift that up, and there you see the um, gastrocnemius. Again, now we're looking at it from the other side. A very prominent, easy to find muscle on ourselves. This is our calf muscle. And I'm separating it right now from another muscle called the soleus muscle. In fact, we might be able to pause this video. And you might be able to see a couple muscles here. We'll just kind of highlight them real quickly. I see the gastrocnemius. That's easy. You can probably see the soleus muscle here. There's another muscle, obviously, right there. So gastrocnemius, soleus. Then we see a muscle called the peroneus. Peroneus, and there will be a final muscle that we're going to see right here. You would think this entire thing is the tibialis anterior, but there is actually another muscle that's kind of hidden with him that we're going to have to kind of expose. All right, so let's watch how this unfolds. Really quick dissection again. Okay, gastrocnemius. You kind of expose these two all the way down to that Achilles tendon. I'm getting the soleus pulled back. Okay. Again, if you've removed a lot of this in the earlier dissection, this should go pretty quickly for you. So the soleus, gastrocnemius, peroneus is the next one. And we got a little bit more of this connective tissue to remove. There we go. This should hopefully be the last layer that we remove. Again, we'll just kind of highlight the differences between these two. You can definitely see this is a muscle, this is a muscle, this is a muscle, and this is the same muscle that we've seen before, the tibialis anterior, but you're going to find a very, very faint line that you're going to be able to tease apart here. Okay. This is super easy to miss. Now let's see if we can discover this little faint line that is actually separating the tibialis anterior from the extensor digitorum longus. Kind of working back and forth. So again, I can see the tibia. Touching the tibia right there. That's all tibialis anterior, the front of the shin. And now I'm actually going to show you that there are two muscles kind of fused together here. There you go. You start to lift them apart. It should be pretty straightforward from there. The hard part is just finding the line. And if you don't see the line on your cat, you might have to remove more of that connective tissue that's covering it all. Okay. Fantastic. All right, we'll pause it right here, and let's take a quick look at all the muscles that we should see. We see the gastrocnemius. We see the soleus, next is the peroneus, and up here is the extensor digitorum longus. The muscle that's on the very, very top is actually from the other dissection, 14, which is called the tibialis anterior. That is all you have to do for this dissection. Keep in mind that you do still need to know the Achilles tendon down here, and the gastrocnemius can be seen from either side, as can the tibialis anterior. Um, Probably a good way, to, you, your most common mistake is people confuse the lateral lower leg to the medial lower leg. But you'll notice what's missing here is you don't see the tibia. There's no bone being ex exposed here, okay? The medial leg was actually much simpler than this. All right, that's it. We will see you guys in class for the dissection.